How's it going everybody? This is B the Bush. This is the Renfa Iris One Eye Massager with heat. The instruction manual is quite complicated because there's so many functions in this and you have to access all these different functions with just three touch buttons. What is this eye massager? It has bellows to massage your eyes and temples. It has heat built in to put warming pressure on top of your eyes. It has some built-in audio so you can listen to some nature-like music. It can also connect via Bluetooth so you can play your own music and it also vibrates. So many different features. How do you access them all? The mode button allows you to cycle through all those features all in different permutations. The music button has five different audio levels from mute to level five. The pressure button allows you to adjust the bellow strength from low to strong to no pressure at all. The difference between Iris 1, 2, and 3 is that 2 and 3 has more adjustments. The 3 allows you to individually control the eye bellows and the temple bellows. The 2 and 3 also have more kinds of music. So essentially, this works the same as the 2 and 3, except you get only two strength levels for the bellows. You cannot turn them on or off individually. Less number of built-in music tracks, but if you're gonna use your own Bluetooth anyway, that doesn't matter too much. Instruction booklet, USB-C charge cable. It's a very nice white finish. There's a foam insert inside, nothing else in there. To charge it, you look underneath, fold it together, the USB-C port is right here. Plug it in and the red LED will turn on to indicate it's charging. Right out of the box, it's probably not fully charged and is using about 2.7 watts to charge. Adjustable band in the back, couple of massaging bellows in here. This is not actually removable. If we look deep inside, the air tubes goes in here and we can't actually separate this piece away from the main part. Press and hold the touch button to turn it on. Please close your eyes, relax and enjoy. Air pressure plus heat. And when you want to turn it off, press and hold the on off button. Goodbye. There are two bellows that goes in front of your eyes and two that goes over your temples. We can cycle through the functions with the on off button just by tapping it once. Air pressure plus heat. Air pressure plus heat plus vibration. Air pressure only. Heat only. Vibration only. Air pressure plus heat. Let's cycle through all the music that it plays. Maximum volume. Press and hold the music button to get to the next track. This music lasts for about 90 seconds. I'm gonna fast forward to the end so we can hear the part where it discontinues. So right there, we just heard it pause for a few seconds and it loops the music. The music button changes through five levels of volume. The pressure button and it cycles through soft, strong, and no pressure. Soft pressure, strong pressure, no pressure. The heaters on the eye mask are mainly right over the eye area, reaching about 124. So you adjust the heat from high to low, push both the music button and the pressure button at the same time and hold it. High heat. Do it again for low heat. For Bluetooth, connect to the eye massager. Now I can play my own music track. So how do you use this thing? You adjust the band, press and hold the button. Please close your eyes, relax and enjoy. Air pressure plus heat. It defaults to air pressure and heat. Air pressure, now it's pushing on my eyes and my temples. If this gets dirty, you're just gonna have to wipe it clean with a damp soft cloth. The controls I found that takes a little bit getting used to because when you have this eye mask on, you have to feel around for this divot on the on off button. You cycle through all those different permutations and finally got to the one that you want. And then let's say you want to adjust the pressure. The button is right here, but you gotta know where it is. So I'm trying to press that button right now. Am I hitting it? What you can do is sort of feel around from the front towards the back and then you can feel the smaller buttons because if you accidentally go and touch this mode button, you have to cycle through all those modes before you get back to where you came from. Not a deal breaker. You can get used to the control mechanism. Personally, I just really, really want 
the temple massaging on its own. I could deal with less music tracks. I don't turn on the vibration myself. I hope this video helps you select which one to buy, Iris 1, 2, or 3. If you guys are interested in this particular one or those other ones, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.